This video response is going to go out to Patty's Way, and this is because she sent me an actual video for me to review, and that's fine. I'd be thrilled to do so. I did watch the whole thing. Uh, the title of the video is Speed Up Your Morning Makeup Routine. All right, at the beginning of the video, you were talking about a fashion magazine and how people should emulate their faces in accordance to that fashion magazine. The thing is, I would have loved if you had gotten on the air and told us about the history of that magazine, who invented it, um, who's its current editor, uh, how much money they make off of not only the subscribers of that magazine, but also the advertisements. I mean, my gosh, I know this magazine. I've, I've seen it many, many a time. And I cannot tell you how many ads are in this magazine. Okay? Every month you get, you get another issue of this magazine and you find tons upon tons of ads. And then they get subscriber money on top of that. So that's something I think would have been more interesting in your video. Now, the next thing is, I saw a guitar. It was an acoustic guitar in the background. Who manufactured the guitar? Um, what's its design? Is it designed for rhythm and blues? Or is it designed for just everyday use? Or, you know, is, is it designed for a specific purpose? Do you actually play the guitar? Okay. And if so, let's hear some of your music. Love to hear that. The next thing is the flower in your background. Is that a real flower? Is that a plastic flower? Um, what kind of a flower is it? We'd love to know that. And why do you have a white curtain on your wall? Is it because it leads into another room? Uh, maybe there's some, some disfiguration on the wall that you don't want anybody to see. Maybe there's a painting behind the curtain. You know. Anyway... Um, I think a lot of people would like to know where you got your sunglasses, how much you paid for them, um, how good of protection they offer against ultraviolet radiation. I think a lot of people would like to know that. I saw your shirt. Have you ever been a member of the Army? How long did you serve? And more importantly, what rank did you finally finish out with if you have gotten out of the Army since then? Oh, we'd like to know that. Did you earn any medals while you were in the Army? I think we everybody would like to know that. I noticed your accent as well. Um, to be quite honest with you, I can't pinpoint where you come from just by watching this one video. But I can actually say that you are not from the Midwestern United States. I can tell that immediately. <laughs> I'm from the American Midwest and we have our own accent. So I know that you're not from the American Midwest. But we kind of like to know where you're from. Okay. Now, you were talking about vanity tables. Have you ever heard of the word etymology? Well, if you haven't, etymology is the study of word origins. And this is in stark contrast to entomology, which is the study of insects. I know they sound very similar, but they're two different things. I would love for you to, to get on YouTube and make a video about the etymology of the word vanity. I think people would find that very interesting. Okay. Now, you are talking about brushing your lips with a toothbrush to simulate the look of lipstick. Okay, how long does that last? A couple of hours till lunchtime throughout the day? You never say in the video. Okay. Now, you were talking about spreading bacteria around your face. What kind of bacteria are we talking about here? Bacteria that will trigger off bad acne, uh, MRSA, um, bubonic plague. You, you never really specify a, what kind of bacteria that will get spread around your face doing what you're saying you're going to do. Okay. Now then, uh, you were talking about um, bristles. Okay. You were talking about these big poofy brushes. How long are the bristles on this thing? Okay, uh, uh, I know some of those brushes or those, yeah, well, whatever. They, they, they have short bristles and the other ones have longer bristles. You never tell us the length of the bristles. I think that would be very important. All right. And you never talk about the new tax on the tanning spas here in the United States. 
I think a lot of people would be very interested to hear about this new tax on the tanning spas in the United States. It's supposed to be part of the Affordable Care Act. I think that would be of great interest to your audience. Alrighty. Now, uh, you were talking about plucking your eyebrows. Uh, can that cause skin irritation? What kind of skin irritation can it cause? Could it be acne? Could it be something even worse? Maybe you develop a rash or hives because of it. Something you should talk about. Alright, now I did a video a while back. If you go to my main channel page and you look through my beauty playlist, you'll find a video about nail polish remover. That's something I hope you watch it and I hope you talk about it. I really do. Alrighty. Then I saw you were using your smartphone as a wake-up alarm. Alright. Now I know lots of people out there, they, they can't hardly function without their smartphones. Which is a big problem. Because when they become pedestrians and they try to walk across the street, they get so engrossed in their smartphone that they're not paying attention to the traffic that's getting ready to hit them. And that can be a big problem. So that's something else you can cover in your videos. Hopefully you enjoyed my presentation. I would love to hear from you. So let me know what you think. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.